Hello everybody and welcome back to the Maxi. As you can see, some red paint has gone in there. And same underneath. We've put, I've been busy this morning. I've done a few other things. The trouble's there. She's doing all your comments. She's reading them out to me. So I'm sorry I didn't comment back straight away last night. So trouble is doing it now. Anybody tell you you look like a garden name sat there? <laughs> <laughs> so I've stuck the new exhaust rubbers on. Ready. Uh, one just here. I don't know if you can see. And I've done the ones up there as well. So those are all done. Ready. And then I've got to take the rest of that filthy, horrible bandage off that exhaust. And uh, slide the new bugger on. Oh, oh God. I need to break my neck. So yeah, that is about it at the moment. Just a quick little update on what we've been doing. Alright, so once it starts getting painted, you're not really going to see this. These welds are ground down quite thin. So you're not really going to see it. And a few people commented and said, why didn't they put a lip in all that? It's a waste of time. It's plenty strong enough. You're not really going to see it with all the coats of thick undersill and all that on it. So it's just an everyday car to use it's not going to be a show car I'm not looking to take it to like fancy places like the NAC and all that it's just an everyday car to use and be happy using it it's like my Rover my Rover is just an everyday car it's just it's just a user just jumping in start up drive it go off where you want to go in it but uh, she's looking really filthy all the polished rocker cover slowly starting to go damp and crude again so which they do after a while it only lasts for so long but uh, yeah and I've had to pop the bonnet up on this this one today as well because she was all damp under there so she's been drying out as you can see there's still water dripping but I mean all the radiator hoses are off it's just I mean, she'll start up if I put some petrol in it. But, uh, I've got that bit of welding over there to do, over that side. I'll do that at a later date. I think, I'm not sure, but on these, I think there's a plastic hose which sits up in there. And you can, so I'll have to be careful. Um, oh no, I can't see it from there. So I'll have to be careful when I go to cut that piece out and weld it. Because there's a, as far as I can remember, I've seen on a few pictures probably on eBay actually of some of these cars because they're obviously quite prone to rot up here and it looks like there's a black heater hose or something like that that goes up there so I'll have to uh, investigate that before I uh, start stripping that and doing the welding uh, but yeah I mean she's she's she ain't a bad old bus really <clears throat> and uh, who was the chap what messaged to, to say about the doors for them? Doors for this, I mean, mm. uh, Mini Life, yeah, Mini Life. Thank you to Mini Life for um, having a look for me on the eBay and everything for doors. Yeah. I know the doors are awkward as hell to find. Uh, I don't know, I mean I haven't joined the actual proper maxi club not yet, so maybe somebody might be able to help in there. So, but yeah, I mean I, the doors, I mean bodywork I need to get done anyway, but I'm not too fussed for a minute, I want just want to make sure I get all the rest of it done, but big thank you to Mini Life. I mean he, he, he literally took trouble out and looked on eBay for me, so f thank you mate, you're, you're a star. Uh, any other good comments we had today? Well, from last night or, or maybe even today. I'm always impressed with the weld that you've done on the wheel arch. Yeah. You're saying just temporarily use the exhaust that you've got because you've welded that up pretty well. Yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm liking 
Good. And they want to see more. Good. Good. So, thank you to everyone. Thank you. <clears throat> if I'd still had my garage, this car, well, it'd been done, wouldn't it, Stink? I mean, <laughs> yeah, if I died my garage, um, but things are, things happen, life changes, and um, when you know you're going to go in hospital and you're going to be told you're not allowed to do, do any work for six months to a year, it does um, bring you down, and uh, the cost of uh, keeping a garage with the rates it wasn't so much keeping the paying paying for the garage it was the actual rates uh, over 1500 quid a year and then you had your water sewage on top of that plus your electric bill and um, yeah it all mounts up because even though you're not in there for probably six months you're still going down there on and off to switch the lights on to check on everything you got your burglar alarms and everything that still running all the electric and stuff like that so it just mounted up in costs so it was easier just to close the garage down and that's it and I didn't think I was going to bother doing any more cars but I ended up doing what did I do what did what was it I done when I came out of oh I had to put Land Rover back together wasn't it because the council started kicking off back the Land Rover because it was all in bits and then I got rid of all those P6 Rovers I had which were all V8s and they were all manual as well I didn't even have an automatic all of them no one automatic the rest were all manual and I sold them all sold them all and broke them all up for parts on that which was a shame actual shame yeah so they were all moaning uh, so now we get left alone now hopefully so but I only, we only get left alone because I took the council to court Oh, because uh, they had some dopey cow come out and tell me I had to get rid of all my cars and I took it to court and I won my case because I could have looked up and charged them really I could have uh, got compensation for all the cars I've lost all the money I lost as well but I couldn't be asked I just said I'll oh, just leave it just just want to be left alone you know just want to get on and do what I want to do so it's like I said you could you come out here with an anvil grinder for about probably about an hour or so just doing a bit of grinding work and you get moaned at but you can have a house which is uh gone through like two years of restoration and working until nine o'clock at night banging and flipping anvil grinding and cutting and god knows what else and get away with it so it's one rule for one another rule for another so there we are anyway i'm done rabbiting so Hopefully my paint will be dry and I can finish it off. So I'll come back in a bit Hello everybody and welcome again. Okay, right. Well, I've put just a little bit of stone chip on it And build up the layers and then it'll go back thick But uh, Yeah, it's getting there the fuel tanks back in I know a bit of weight gone over the fuel tank, but I'm not worried about that because it'll be painted black anyway But yeah, the fuel tank is all in let me slide the board out a minute. Yeah, here you go. Fuel tank all back in, all bolted up. The only problem I have is the fuel pipe I had, new fuel pipe, it's the wrong size. So I've had to put the old one back on for now. Uh, yeah. So I'll change it. I'll get some new in and change it a bit later on. So I've got to change the one on the front anyway because uh, I don't know how many of you have been following from day one this was all pouring out of petrol just here so I had to cut it down and rejoin it just to get the car going so this will all be changed as well yeah and the one down there will be changed as well because it's metal all the way through so there's only that bit of fuel pipe there and this piece of fuel pipe which I'll put an inline filter somewhere so yeah, but yeah. I'm debating to do the wheel arches white. Just keep building up layers of that stone chip, 
and then do the wheel arches white instead of black. Not sure. I don't know, I'll leave it for you a lot to comment on that one. Should I do the wheel arches back white? Like it would have been originally. Or should I just do them black? Comments down below. Anyway, Trouble's gone in to make me a cup of tea. Rascal Bang has come home from work. I've asked him to go and get changed so he can give me a hand to get this exhaust on. Whether or not he comes out, it'll be another thing. And then i got to jack this side up and clean the undersill off on this side and wire brush it all and brush treat it. And then that'll be this part all done. And if I can get that exhaust on today, that'll be all done. But uh, I can't see it myself. There's no young and coming from work. I can't see him really wanting to change his clothes and come out here and help me. Yeah, rather sit indoors and put his head in the laptop and play games, silly games all day long. So, yeah, there we are. So, a little bit more of a progress, a bit more work. Just a quick update, really. Just, you know, it's just to let you know there's. I'm doing stuff to it. It's just a slow process, really, of bits and pieces being done. But yeah, comments down below on that because I don't know not to do it. Do the wheel arches, you know, rebacked. Uh, they should have been white. Yeah. Anyway. Right. I'll come back, hopefully, with some more progress. I got him underneath. He's cleaning up the exhaust. How's it going? Hmm? How's it going? All coming off? Done the other side as well though, haven't you? And the underneath. Looking good, yeah? And I'll keep a bit of sandpaper while you're under there. Yeah, I'll give it a rub with some sandpaper. <laughs> Don't forget to do all around it, right? It's got open mouth scent run up in there. Troubles on the phone yet again. Looking to buy crap, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Looking for rubbish. Should be buying me stuff for my car. See, this is what he's about to clean off. Somebody put a bandage around the exhaust. How's it going, Liam? All ready? Right. I'll slide the bit of the exhaust under then, and then. Uh, Slappery doobery on, as they say. All right, come back with some more progress. <laughs> Got the old lady with us today as well. Not the one sat on the stool. She's just a garden gnome. Oh, okay, right. We got the. Hang on, let's get you. Oh my God, let's get you sorted out. How we do the little Liam? Mhm. Mm He's just doing the finishing touches. All done nice and tight. Mm. What are you handing me them for? How can I do that when I've only got one arm? The other one's like holding on to the boot of the car. Okay. Well, slide them right there. Mm -hmm. Slide them down there. So, yes, all exhaust is on. We're all new. New jobby rubbers. Nice <laughs> <sighs> place to get my. But, uh, look like a well coming out of there then, stuck on a beach. <laughs> it's the only person I know wears a white t-shirt to muck about doing cars. Right, I, is it all done? You sure? Yes. I will have a look. Uh, uh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Sure you done it up tight enough? Well, I don't know, I can't fit under her. I'm too fat. Hmm. No weird exhaust. Something just doesn't look right with that exhaust. It doesn't look right, Liam. Liam. Oh, no. It doesn't look right. No. no. Because that's why, there luck. You didn't when oh god's sake i know i should got the car up high enough you put a clamp on that pipe it's got to be turned that's the reason why it's got a bend in it now it's got a bend in it it's going to hit the floor and hit the speed bumps when we go over so you've got to undo that clamp and turn that exhaust you're not even looking to see what i'm doing are you no, where yeah, it's got to go around the, that part of the exhaust, and you have not the exhaust um, gearbox, and you've done it. <sighs> That's just going to hit the floor. Oh my good God! Oh, job done. You got to do it yourself today, ain't you? Bloody oh, kids! <sighs> you got to do all that again. Yeah, but it ain't no good now, is it? Because like we've done everything up. And now I've got to do it all again. Didn't finger that one out, did you? I mean, it's like. Kids. Sofers. Sofers. Yes, I know. I know. You better, aren't you? Well, hang, don't go back with it. Get on with it. One. Oh, right, we'll come back a little bit and with another update because he's balls this up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is day two after Young Un naffed up the exhaust yesterday. We had look, look at this. Look. That took me to put it right. <laughs> I even got the missus working, working under the car. <laughs> All right, we've had to put the exhaust on. Right, this was our problem. This one here is on like a ball, and Young was mucking around with it yesterday, and it fell out altogether. So he pulled it too hard; it came out. So I've had to take all all the exhaust off, and by then it's too late, and I couldn't be bothered to part around with it anymore last night. So today we had to, like I said, take it off up there. I had to heat up, heat that ball up and then it slid on and I put a just to help it on its way put a little jubilee clip round it just to keep it squished in just to keep it tight and it's all on there and it's doing what it should be doing not like it was before when it was nearly enough it in the floor because young and couldn't be bothered to set up right and no matter how many exhaust pipes he's done you would have thought you would have got it right but no, he wanted to balls it. So it took me, you, it took me and mum here to sort it out. And how long did that take us? What? I don't know. Well, we finished eating up that header bit and putting it on by half past 11. And I only took up, it was about an hour, well, about an hour for this, fitting it. Because it's half past 12-ish now. Yeah, it's just gone half 12 now. <laughs> so yeah we're done that's it done i know it looks sketchy everybody don't worry it's just those stands are just there just in case anything happened but it's got axles underneath there's a jack underneath so it's all fine it's all finished now and um there's there's our lovely wheel arch it needs a bit more stone chip on there so i'll take the wheel back off stick some more stone chip on there build up layers uh, so yeah, the exhaust is on. We just got to finish tightening it up under the bonnet. It's this annoying one. If I can squeeze in past the cars, it's this annoying one right down in, down in there. I don't think you'll bloody see it. This is the way. Yeah, it's right down in there. It's good to, to take it all off last night. I got fed up with it. Uh, yeah, so I just got that to finish tightening up. And that's it. And that exhaust is on, done. Then move on and get the other bits and pieces done. 
uh, yeah so we'll keep you updated on how the little jobs what needs to be done what do you think trubs yeah. you enjoyed that didn't you you enjoyed being under there Hey. Partially. What do you mean partially? You at uh, one minute I thought you were climbing right under there with me. Okay. Well, I was doing gymnastics, isn't it? <laughs> 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 legs <we are. laughs> It's hard to believe how heavy this piece of exhaust yeah. is, isn't it? Mm. So yeah. Finally fitted. Finally it? fitted. It took me and Mum to do it and it took us an hour just to do it. So yeah, job done. Right. We'll come back hopefully with a bit more progress, if not big thank you to everybody who commented and um got anything to add to trubs just keep like and subscribe it's a slow progress though isn't it yeah. it's a slow progress but it's it's the fun it's the enjoyment of doing it isn't it it's a diary, isn't it? It is a diary yeah it's a diary of watching liam mess up and then <laughs> i bollock him yeah. and then he breaks it and then i gotta fix it again he's a trier he's a trier yeah he's a trier so Anyway, yeah, like I said, big thank you to everybody who commented. Thank you to everybody on your subscribes, all the new subscribers and everything. Like Just keep liking and subscribing, that's all we can say to you. And uh, I mean, what else is there to do? I mean, apart from watch Coronation Street, EastEnders, and all that rubbish. Um, there ain't really much on TV today, is there? Repeats all the time. So, all I say is tune into YouTube, get better entertainment. Things always go wrong and things mess up. So, yep. Yeah. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.